I want to show you this. This is called, this is basically one of the, this is a document that every queer activist today has read. This is from a group of queer anarchists called the Mary Nardini Gang. This is called Towards the Queerest Insurrection. I have analyzed this document extensively on my channel. Okay, so you can find you can find podcasts of me analyzing this. You can find written documents of me analyzing this. You can find a lot of things of me analyzing this. But I just want to go look at all the the time. Okay, here it is. Here it is. We're gonna read this this section right here. And guys, this is their document. This is their founding document. Okay. The perspective of queers within the heteronormative world is a lens through which we can critique and attack the apparatus of capitalism. They're telling you the goal of queer is to attack capitalism. We can analyze the ways in which medicine, the prison system, the church, the state, marriage, the media, borders, the military police are used to control and destroy us. More importantly, we can use these cases to articulate a cohesive criticism of every way we are alienated and dominated. Queer is a position from which to attack the normative more, a position from which to understand and attack the ways in which normal is reproduced and reiterated. In destabilizing and problematizing normalcy, we can destabilize and become a problem for the totality. The history of organized queers was born out of this position. The most marginalized trans folks, people of color, sex workers, have always been the catalyst for riotous explosions of queer resistance. These explosions have been coupled with a radical analysis, wholeheartedly asserting that, here it is, the liberation for queer people is intrinsically tied to the annihilation of capitalism and the state. I'm going to say this again. This is their document. Every queer activist in the world today has read this document, I promise you. We hear them quoting it all the time. The liberation for queer people is intrinsically tied to the annihilation of capitalism and the state. It is no wonder, then, that the first people to publicly speak of sexual liberation in this country were anarchists or that those in the last century who struggled for queer liberation also simultaneously struggled against capitalism, racism, and patriarchy and empire. These are four words that all mean the same thing. This is our history. Again, this is a document called Towards the Queerest Insurrection from the Mary Nardney Gang. I have analyzed this document extensively. We've done podcasts about it. We've done videos about it. We've done streams about it. This is what they believe. Does anyone have any questions about this? Nope, that's not what they're doing, bro. They want to abolish capitalism. Stop repeating conservative propaganda in my stream. Stop it. No, I have the correct perspective. You've been misinformed and you refuse to listen. You come in all my chat all the time and you refuse to listen. You're going to end up getting banned eventually because you refuse to listen. This is the document driving queer activism. This is effectively the queer Marxism manifesto. This, these ideas have been around a long time. This is not new. Only literal retards think I support this, Alice. We're learning about the enemy here. Try to catch up, girl. Try to catch up. Only literal retards think I support this. I know you're right. I'm an old tranny. I'm an old... Tr oh, so you're... Okay, so you're... An okay, 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 okay. I get you now. All right. All right, all right. I get you now. I didn't realize you were an old tranny. I get you. Bro. Their end game is to abolish capitalism. This is what I've been telling you. Capitalism is defined as private property ownership. They want to abolish your ability to own a home, abolish your ability to own land, abolish your ability to own an apartment rental, <coughs> abolish your ability to own a private business, big or small, abolish your intellectual property, abolish your parental rights, abolish your individual liberties. That is their end game. Everything they do from 
anti-racist bullshit and critical race theory to abolish the police to gender ideology to queer theory to environmental justice to reproductive justice to everything <coughs> it is all about abolishing capitalism it's attacking capitalism from multiple different angles they are attacking capitalism from every possible angle Well, girl, I have a bio in my Twitter feed, but I appreciate you're here from someone from a post about me being harassed on the internet. Yeah, I got a whole I got a whole horde of people screaming about me right now because they're upset that I'm a better teacher than they are. But if you want to learn about the radical left, sit down, take a seat, grab a drink. We'll teach you some stuff, okay? This is their rabbit hole. We are showing you their rabbit hole. This is why I've been telling you that you need to sit back and listen because you don't know this stuff. This is why you got yelled at yesterday. You don't know this stuff. You think you do, and we need to break through your cognitive dissonance. This is the rabbit hole, bro. You're in the fucking rabbit hole now. What you need to do is to listen and learn and ask questions. All of us have been in the all of us have been in the state that you're in. All of us have gone through this pro this process of dissonance. Sit down and listen and ask questions. All right. Does anyone have questions about the goal of queer? Does anyone have questions about what I just read you or how this relates back to everything else? I'm doing a pause. I'm waiting to see if there are questions. If there are questions, please ask them. Yeah, this is actually true. I know Marxism and especially queer theory better than most socialists do. That's true. We're going nice and slow tonight. All right. Let's go back to our presentation. We have taken uh, two hours to analyze 16 minutes of a presentation. That's okay, though. Are, is people, are people learning stuff? Is everyone learning stuff tonight? Okay, Trendelen says, still confused about where the push is coming from regarding transing kids. It's not actually about transing the kids. It's about queering the kids. And this is an important distinction. They don't actually want the kids to be trans. They don't want the kids to transition from man to woman or woman to man. They want to convince the kids that gender is fluid, that gender is a performance, that changing your gender is as easy as changing your outfit. That's what Drag Queen Story Hour is all about. It's about putting a, like a basically a cartoon character in front of kids to say, look, kids, gender is a performance. You can change your gender by putting on a sparkle dress. That's what Drag Queen Story Hour is actually about. It's not about sexualizing kids. That's conservative bullshit propaganda. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but it's a different problem, okay? It's a different problem. I'm not saying it's not a problem. I'm saying it's a different problem. What they're trying to convince kids is the gender binary is not real. You can change your gender as easy as changing an outfit. And if they can convince the kids that the gender binary is not real, that's how they abolish the gender binary over time. That is what the goal is. Um, no, bro. No one has said we're on their side. You're going through cognitive dissonance right now. You need to calm down. You need to breathe in and out real bit, real bit. Like, take a few deep breaths, bro. No one is saying this legitimizes anything. What we're doing is explaining it so you can understand it. Just because you understand something doesn't mean you agree with it. So I need you. I know. I know exactly what you're going through right now. You need to take a few deep breaths. You need to calm the fuck down. Just l I told you this yesterday. Let it wash over you. All right, let's keep going. 